Well, to wait, ten stone eight. And Mickey Hughes from London, a big hitter, who's had one or two spectacular wins on his way to this final. And in uh, Rob Thomas from Gloucester, he faces a man who's boxed several times for England. second round and it's uh, Thomas Rob Thomas from Gloucester the dark-skinned boxer certain boxing southpaw here against this renowned big hitter from the famous St Pancras Club in London Mickey Hughes Thomas has paid one visit to the canvas but didn't seem to be punched down although he, he was given a standing eight count but he uh, he seemed to lose balance throwing his own punch and went over with his legs in the air and he got counted to eight but I don't think he was punched down but there's no doubt that Hughes Mickey Hughes here really does bang him in and he's had several good wins on his way to this final including a 52nd win in the England semi-finals over a boy from Liverpool and in an earlier round in the London Championships he put out the very much fancied Ori Jones of Barking in two rounds he knocked him out in two rounds and Jones was thought capable of winning this title and at that time was ranked England's number one welterweight Thomas should be able to take care of himself. He's an England international, and he's got this awkward southpaw style, but he's being uh, hustled around this ring, getting his own left hand in occasionally. And you can see from Hugh's face that uh, he's picked up one or two punches from that left hand of Thomas. He swings a mean left. boys are in the same trade. Hughes calls himself a joiner, Thomas calls himself a carpenter. I suspect they're one and the same thing. If they're not, I've no doubt somebody will write in and tell me. Well, some clever weaving by Thomas on the ropes, keeping himself out of trouble. Still swinging that left hand, and if Hughes walks onto that left full blooded, he'll be in trouble. Uh, he's pushed him over. Yeah, he pushed him, he said, the referee. Hughes takes another left in the chin. And these two are determined to slog it out. I wonder if it'll go the full three rounds. Hughes is an out-and-out -out fighter. Prepared to take anything to get his own punch across. And of the two, Thomas looks rather the more weary as he goes back to his corner to join his man in the corner, the famous Pete Hanlon. There he is, blonde Pete who was the captain of our British Olympic boxing team in Moscow in 1980 and of course himself won two of these ABA titles at featherweight in 1979 and again in 81. Pete Hanlon from the Gloucester Club in the corner with Thomas. This is Hughes, the out and out slugger. He really does like to go in and have a go. A carpenter from Highgate, brilliant junior, he won a National Association of Boys Clubs title and also won two ABA junior titles. So a lot of good form behind him and a lot of hurt men have been left behind him too, believe me. Mickey Hughes from St. Pancras. Well, we could have some exciting stuff in these last three minutes. Thomas, the black-skinned southpaw from Gloucester, and Hughes, the dark vest, from London. He was being told to hit with the right part of the glove. Oh, he's got him with the left. 
he walked right onto it. That was a speculative left hand. He walked right into it, and he's totally startled and stunned, and he's only just beaten the count at that. That was extraordinary. That left came round the corner. And Hughes is going for the finish. Hughes is cut on the bridge of his nose. Last round. Thomas still feeling the effects of that punch. He's got his wits about him and he's keeping his lead going. But he's on very weak legs and a standing count. So a knockdown and a standing count against Thomas in this closing round. On he goes, straight into a right. And he's got him this time, that's it. Back to the ropes, on his knees. Signalled over before he touched down. All over. Brave man beaten. But Thomas has, is another victim of this man who punches so hard. And this is going to be a man we shall hear about a lot in the future. He's a brawler. But my word, he can hit. Mickey Hughes from St Pancras, who has chalked up quite a few of these inside the distance wins on the way to the title. We can see it all again. The right hand did the damage at the end. He only just missed that one. He backed himself up against the ropes. And Hughes went for him. And that final right hand did it all. It was all over even before Thomas's knees hit the deck. So Mickey Hughes, 21 years old, from the St Pancras Club, which incidentally is going through a not too good a time. They need a new gym, and uh, well, maybe Hughes is a good advertisement for them, and some people will rally around the St Pancras Club. Anyway, Hughes is the champion, but a, a valiant loser in Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner and champion at welterweight in the 1984 national finals, Hughes Red Corner.